Hi guys, my name is Laura and this is my horse Theo and we're from my equestrian YouTube channel Laura L. Seagrace. At my channel I am working on rebuilding my confidence after a few bad accidents so I hope you can go check it out. I hope you enjoy this video. Morning guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, today we are headed out to go to Sam's family every year at Christmas time. We travel around and visit our families. Today is Sam's family. I'm gonna show you guys all the amazing food that his that his mom makes for us. Uh, we're in the car ready to go. Girls are still not ready. Willow and Gracie are down there. It's been a journey for them, let me tell you. One of the things that Fiona said, one of the things that Fiona said to us as we stood with Stella waiting is that they were going to need her love because I thought it was going to be too hard for me to go to the barn and for the first day I couldn't look at anything outside the window I couldn't look at the field I couldn't look at the barn but I got up that next morning let me tell you and I went down and they both struggled a lot they Gracie even struggled quietly and Willow not so quietly but they are basically standing vigil at the at the gate at the fence waiting for their girl to come back they just keep staring where they last saw her and um, I have a little bit of footage of that I'm going to show you guys that when we take our drive to Toronto and then we'll catch up with you because you guys it is Christmas like I forgot it is Christmas time and holy heck like we only have a couple of days left to get everything done I have had two days off so we have a lot going on from now till Christmas so Let's get back to living. I've been pushing away Everybody I love I don't know what to do Need a sign from above I just want to be Somebody who knows knows how to behave but I'm not even close won't you save 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 me won't you save 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 me I am out here alone cause there's nobody left To talk to. Yesterday Fiona told me that I had to come down to the barn and make sure that the minis, the littles were okay because they were going to be grieving and I was like no way I'm never looking at them again. <laughs> but today is a whole new day and it's been a struggle like to get to this point. In everything in life I've always been able to look ahead look ahead and see the future and even when it's been a struggle and hard I've always been able to look ahead even when I was in the hospital in crazy pain last year I could see every day a difference in the change and I could look ahead but this this is oh, this Ruby was looking for her this this is dark this is really dark because I was not ready. It was this way so sudden. And we got the mini to keep Stella company. And then we got Gracie to keep Willow company. And now we don't have Stella. So why do we have them? Not having her in our videos is going to be so different. So many things happened yesterday, you guys. I didn't get to share any of it with you. I'm the kind of person that has to talk about things and has to share them. And that that's what helps me.
She's gone. Come on, out you go. Get out there. Go. Go. <laughs> Where's the drink? Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's go! Come on! No! Come on! Out! Come on! Come on! Get! 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 <laughs> She's sad. How many times have you guys seen her go into stealth stall? She's gone. She's gone, girlies. She's gone. They're looking. They know. They're looking for her. Stella was everything to everybody, huh? She's gone, my love. She's gone. All you have is Willow now. You better be friends. That's it. Just Willow. It's gonna be okay. It's okay. She's gone. How long does it take for horse? She was the last time they saw her. Oh, I've been trapped in this darkness for far too long now. It's okay, Willow. It's okay. You've got Gracie. Thank goodness. <coughs> Thank goodness we have two of them at least. She's like, give me my girl. I've been seeking forgiveness Cause I know I was wrong Oh, I'm running out of time I have to stay strong not her. She's not coming.
I wouldn't let anybody clean her stall yesterday because I want to keep it like this. I wanted to clean it myself. I wanted to wash her buckets. Willow's still screaming. Willow's still calling for her. We can only ever hope to have somebody as loyal as that as a friend. Well, Gracie won't come in. Yeah, because Will's right here. parents house I didn't vlog in there because it's kind of like it's hard to take 80 it's hard to take almost 90,000 people into somebody else's family especially at Christmas and it's just I don't know sometimes a little bit awkward you're our family and I want to keep you all for ourselves but oh so we are headed home I feel really nervous to leave our mares alone our ponies alone like it gives me anxiety now. I just want to be home with them like, oh, and have somebody stop by and check on them. Doesn't to you, it does to me. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you one gift that the girls got. So, uh, they both got a gold and a silver necklace with the name of their horse on it. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a storm. But yeah, isn't it gorgeous? Uh, I just wanted to cry when they got it because I want my own. So see how it's got the heart on it? And you guys, you know what's weird is that I didn't I don't know what heart horse means I don't know what any of that means but Stella is my heart horse she taught me how to love a horse because I remember you guys remember when we my years ago Sam did all the horseback riding lessons I hardly ever went my kids would come home and be like I can't do it today and I was like oh that's so fun and they'd be like yeah I fell off and I'd be like oh like I had no idea and now I sit at lessons holding my breath and like my heart about to burst out of my lungs watching them go and celebrating every single success and and it's such a balance between the love for my child and the love for my horse our horses and like it's just such an exhilarating incredible thing and Stella gave me that I know it was Stella because even though I I love our other horses no other horse made me love it strongly and it's because she was so far from us and then she came to us if that makes any sense like she it was in her loving us that taught me to love horses so yeah I want that I need to get that I need to find it as soon as all the time it stops and things get less busy uh, there will be a Stella necklace that I will wear every day. I'm getting gold or rose gold. Yeah, and Gabby wants one too. And Sylvie, you want a Stella necklace? Yeah. Yeah, we are all going to get one because that's the thing. Stella was all our horse. She was all our horse. She was your guys' horse. So many people have been saying to us that that they felt like they loved Stella and like she was a part of their family and they felt like they knew her. And I love that. That makes me feel so proud because... Like I said, I used to watch a couple of vlogs and the one in particular, I felt a part of their family. I know that feeling and I never ever in my wildest dreams thought that I would ever be able to create create that love in other people and it just makes me so happy that people have said that and the fact that you, so many of you love Stella and cried for her, even though it's awful and it's sad, it, it I feel so much better knowing that we all mourn together, like I do. 
I do want to share just one little bit of our visit there though. It was the most awkward thing ever. We just literally sat down, we walked in, we sat down to eat, and Sam's mom said, so what's new with you guys? And we all just sat there for a second trying to think like what the heck could be new. And Sam said, oh, our horse died. And then all the kids at the table, they're like, oh, that's so sad, what happened? And then it just was like, oh my gosh, like I just wasn't ready for that. But it turned out to be okay. Oh, Sam. <laughs> We're back. Still hurts to come in our barn. But you know what hurts me the mo most right now? I haven't seen our boys in two days. I saw them on Thursday. I haven't seen them in two days and that is heart wrenching for me. Like the hardest part for me is that they're outside all the time and I don't know, I still feel lost. Like I still feel sad and guilty about sending them away even though I know it has to happen. But we'll see them tomorrow. Tomorrow is real life again, you guys. Tomorrow we have so many things happening. A day at the barn. And I think we need that to take our mind off of it. I bought new baggies today. These are the ones with the zippers that go across. They just slide across because the other ones are freezing in the winter. It's too cold to make rain. So I'm gonna do that right now. And then we're gonna bring our little minis in. Oh, uh, did I miss them come in? Yeah. They went straight to their stalls. Look at. You okay, my love? So we ended up getting some heated buckets for their water. And we just have to get electric hook cords for them. Sweet girl, you and I, you are my next project. You are the next horse that I'm going to make love me. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Mom. Oh. <laughs> Those are the most important part. Like, how horses also go on the field. It's giving them food. Yeah. People think giving them food and is water. bad. It's not real bonding. It certainly and is. And water. That's right. She's like, I need a drink. She's like, mmm, yummy cold water. She seems better. She seems more at peace. She likes her stall. So you guys remember when I said that I loved Gracie and I felt a pull toward her? Well, she's going to be the next horse that I love and that is going to love me because right now she does not love me. And if you saw at the beginning of the video, Gracie or Willow is the most sad. But Gracie is sad too. You guys maybe didn't get to see but Gracie's only love was Stella because Willow never let her love her. <sighs> it's just us now, girls. Just us. And we're gonna make it work. But you never know what will happen in the future. You never know. You never know, I almost said Stella Bell. You never know, Willow. Life is gonna change and we just have to change with it. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.